This is a video to show how I created the 3D engraving of this design that I've uploaded to the Facebook page. Um, so I already have my design here and the first thing you want to do is make sure that all of your fonts are welded because once you start adding colors to this um, you're not going to be able to see all these areas in your fonts that are needing to be welded still. So I like to right click, press weld. Um, you can see that it divided it up into parts so then I also will group it back together. Um, if you're new to Silhouette, what you want are your color palettes. So it's over here in this right hand bar. Um, you have to think of this like in depth, literally. How deep do you want each area of your design to be. So I like to start from the top which would be least engraved and then get deeper into it. So the mulligan part I don't want to be engraved. I want it to stand up tall. So I'm going to do it in a white color. The blazing cane I want to be engraved just a little bit so choose like a gray color. Um, same thing with the horse and I want it to be gray and since I want it to be exactly the same as Blazing Cane, I just like to go to the color dropper over here um, and make sure that it's the same color. So those will be engraved to the same height. For Jordan Farms, which yes we're from the south so it is Jordan, not Jordan. Um, I'm also going to want that to stand up tall because the horse is going to be engraved a little bit um, so I want Jordan Farms to be higher than the horse, so I'm going to do it white also. And of course, the background I want to be the most engraved, so I did it in a black. Um, and then for the border, the outermost part, I don't want it engraved at all, so it'll create a nice ledge to it. So I did that also in white. Um, if you're like me and you don't like seeing all of the red lines, um, show you this trick in case you're not familiar with the Silhouette software. Up in the left hand corner you can change the color of those lines or you can get rid of those line colors altogether. And that's what I like to do. So now I have my design here. Um, and again, each of the colors is telling your Glowforge how deep to engrave it. So, these files have to be saved in a bitmap format. What that means is, once you follow those steps I just took, you're going to want to go down here to Format, and you can pick either PNG or JPEG. Um, I know those for sure are bitmap formats. I've been picking mostly PNG. I'm not that familiar with all the file types, so someone else may be able to help me out with that. But that's just the one I've been picking, and it works. Um, so, Mulligan Horse, that sounds like a good name to save it under. Um, again, this is more about like the width and height of the pixels, so I think I should usually put it up around 100. Um, someone else with more design experience can tell you, but I'm thinking that would mean more pixels per square inch will be a better quality. Okay, so you just created the engrave file, but that's only going to allow you to engrave, but I also want it to cut out the wood once it's done engraving. So what I've been doing is um, clicking on the white portion, not that many times, copy, and then paste it onto another uh, tab in the Silhouette program. Then I go to Save As, and when you cut something on the Glowforge, you want to save it as an SVG. So I did this earlier, um, so it's called Horse Cut Border. 
but you want to make sure down here in the format that it's SVG. Um, since I already have this file, it's going to ask me if I want to override it. Um, so that's what you would do in the Silhouette Studio and then move on to the Glowforge area here. Um, I watched a lot of these videos before I got a Glowforge, so I wasn't familiar with what the interface with Glowforge was going to look like, but this is it. Um, I've been working in medium draft board and I did for this project also. So I have found that it's easiest just to pick your material first before uploading your artwork or sometimes options aren't available to you. Um, so horse cut border, my SVG, I want to add that artwork. And then I want to upload Mulligan Horse. Okay, so you can see that both files uploaded as engrave, but we only want the design here to engrave. Um, so if you click on that, if you select 3D Engrave, now you can see it's changed to this colorful, colorful uh, pattern over here. The 3D Engrave option will only show up from what I've found if you do import it as a JPEG or the PNG. If you try to engrave something um, that's an SVG file, you're not going to get the 3D engrave setting. So the border over here also came in as engraved, but we're, that's the part that we want to cut. And I haven't found an easier way to do this because to me it should import and be the exact same size, but for now I've been importing them separately and then lining it back up which if you don't have a Glowforge yet, there aren't any tools in this interface, at least that I know of uh, or that I've seen anyone using in any videos to help you center things or anything like that. So the next step would be to hit the print button. My laser is not on right now. And like I said, I've already cut this. So that would be the next step. It took about um, 20 minutes. To engrave this because it does go line by line all the way up to make this cut and engrave. Um, let me know if you have any other questions and I'm learning too so hopefully I can learn something also from you. Thanks!